Hello, I'm Roman Shaw from Far From Standard Tutoring. Today we'll be learning how to graph trig functions. So this is the basic form of trig functions, the A, B's, and C's. So there, uh, let's say we're given this example over here. Find the equation of this ugly graph over here. So what we want to look at is four things, the A, B, and the C, and then also whether it's a positive sign, a negative sign, a positive cosine, or a negative cosine. So first let's look at the A's. A means amplitude. The amplitude is defined as the maximum y value minus the minimum y value divided by 2. So if we look again at this graph, the highest y value that this function ever reaches is 4. The minimum it ever reaches is 0. So A clearly is 4 minus 0 divided by 2, which is 2. So from this we know that our A equals 2. Now, let's find our b. b over here, as we can see, is 2 pi divided by the period. And of course, period is then 2 pi divided by b. So the period is how often the graph repeats itself. That's one of the characteristics of trig functions. They're periodic. So this repeats itself, as we can see, after pi units, because after pi units, it starts going up again. So if p is pi, then as we can see, b will be 2 pi, over pi, making b 2 also. So here, b is 2. Finally, let's look at what c is. c, notice, is very similar to a, so don't confuse those. c is max plus min divided by 2, which here will be uh, 4 plus 0 divided by 2, which is again 2. So a, b, and c are all 2. Now the last thing we have to look at is whether this graph is a positive sign, a negative sign, positive cosine, or negative cosine. As we can see, these pictures over here depict what a typical graph for each type will look like. A positive sign starts at the center line and it goes up. A negative sign starts at the center line and goes down. A positive and negative cosine, these starts at the extreme. So a positive cosine starts at the maximum and a negative cosine starts at the minimum. So looking at this, we see that at zero, this is at its minimum. So we know that this graph is a negative cosine. So with all this information, we can find the equation of this graph, which is y equals, we're looking at a negative cosine with an a of 2, so negative 2 cosine of 2x, because b is 2, plus 2, because that's what c is. Stay tuned if you want to look at more advanced examples of this, and I hope you enjoyed this video.